I have to admit to you that I'm not very good at math and I don't like teaching math. So I knew when I started homeschooling that finding a good math curriculum was going to be the most difficult for me. But let me tell you today why teaching textbooks is a good curriculum for moms who are just not that good at math. I'm Ashley, if we haven't met yet. I am a former English teacher and a current homeschool mom to three kiddos ages six, nine, and 11. And I love chatting about here on my channel about Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool, biblically based curriculum, and affordable curriculum stuff. So I'm so glad you're here. Researching and picking out a language arts curriculum is super enjoyable for me. Even Bible and history, yes please. In Spanish, woohoo! But when I think about math, when I first started homeschooling, I was super, super nervous to teach my kids math because I'm an English teacher. I know how to make English or history or Bible or Spanish fun, but how can you make math fun and engaging? I was clueless. And these were the questions that I had when I was picking curriculum. And I was so worried that I was just going to fail my kids in this subject area. So teaching my oldest the early elementary math wasn't a big deal. We found some good curriculum that worked. But now that she's getting older and getting into other math, like fractions and decimals and long division, I need somebody else to teach her. Because what I was doing was, wasn't working. In came teaching textbooks. My 11 year old has been using teaching textbooks for about a whole year now, and she's about to finish her level five and get into level six. And let me tell you, using teaching textbooks has been a huge help. I'm not the one explaining things to her anymore or reading from the book and trying to explain it if the book wasn't explaining it just right. There are visual and audio lessons that come with this digital course. So it's basically like I hired a math teacher to come to my house and teach my daughter math which is a great option for a homeschool mom who doesn't like to teach math or maybe isn't even good at explaining it. My favorite part about using teaching textbooks is that I don't have to teach it. But my second favorite part is that I don't have to grade it. That's right, you heard me. Because this is a digital course, the lesson problems are built in and they are checked and graded along the way. Teaching textbooks isn't completely hands-off for me. Although they do make it simple to check their grades, I do care how she does on the digital course. So I have to check the grades continually and make sure she's understanding what she's doing. Thankfully, teaching textbooks makes this super simple. So I can go into the digital grade book, find the problems that she missed, and then we can go over these problems together and I can make sure, okay, was this something that you just typed wrong? Do you not really know how this was done or why did you miss it? And then we go over them together for a few minutes and I make her do those problems again. But honestly, I'm not looking for perfection here. So if she's missed one or two problems, maybe even three problems, I don't make it a big deal and I just let her move on. Each member of the golf team hit a total of 45 balls at the driving range. If there are five members on the team, how many balls did they hit all together? So I'm just so thankful for how teaching textbooks has been able to teach my fifth grader this year. She's learned about fractions and decimals and it's been explained in a way that she understands. She says she really likes it and she really prefers listening to that, listening to those lessons over me trying to explain it to her through other curriculums that we have used. So if you are interested in trying out teaching textbooks for yourself, you can download a free trial, I'll stick the link below, and you can try the first 15 lessons of whatever level that you are needing. If you need help picking what level your child needs, tough, I'm not gonna help you. Just kidding. Well, as a reference, my daughter is 11 and she is in fifth slash sixth grade and she's just wrapping up level five here in January of this year and she's gonna be starting level six. The teaching textbooks levels I think do really fit the grade level fairly well, so you can always start there, but they do have a placement test you can try on their website. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about my experience in using teaching textbooks, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to talk with you about it. And you can watch my other video here about how I was a skeptic about teaching textbooks before I jumped into using it. So you can go watch that too.
Thanks so much guys. You rock at homeschooling. Go find your joy among the noise. And biblically based. Let's try that again. Okay. Shh. No. You can go somewhere else if you're going to be working.